L'Hopital's rule is a method for evaluating limits of expressions that are in what is called an indeterminate form. Indeterminate forms are expressions like zero over zero, infinity over infinity, negative infinity over infinity, infinity over negative infinity, or negative infinity over negative infinity. I've previously made it a video that introduced L'Hopital's rule and did a couple examples. I've put that link in the description of this video along with some others that just cover basic limits and basic limit properties that you've already discussed in an earlier part of your work in calculus. So with these, you want to remember those processes to try to figure out if you do have an indeterminate form. And then if you do, then L'Hopital's rule says that the limit as x approaches c of f of x over g of x is equal to the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x over g prime of x, if that limit exists. So it's those special cases that we can use L'Hopital's rule, and we need to check to see if we have that case first, and then go ahead and apply it. Now later we'll also see some expressions that while they might not be in the indeterminate form at the very beginning, I can work with it with algebraic transitions or with a, another process, and it does go into a form that's an indeterminate form, in which we could then again use L'Hopital's rule. But I'll get to those examples in a minute. Let's look at our first one. So this is the limit as x approaches zero of 3e to the 2x minus 3 over 6e to the x minus 6. Now you remember that when we're just evaluating a limit of a ratio, we can think of that by using limit properties that I can look at the limit of the numerator as x approaches c, and then the limit as x approaches c of the denominator. So writing that out just kind of as how you can kind of think of it, I have the limit as x approaches 0 of 3e to the 2x minus 3 over the limit as x approaches 0 of 6e to the x minus 6. Well, as x approaches 0, 2 times something approaching 0 approaches 0 and e to a power that's approaching 0 approaches 1. 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 minus 3 is 0. So my numerator is approaching 0. Now the denominator as x approaches 0, well, a value approaching 0, x will approach 0. e to a power that's approaching 0 approaches the value of 1. 6 times 1 is 6, and 6 minus 6 is 0. So I have a zero in the denominator as well. So this shows that I have that zero over zero case. So this is a case where I can apply L'Hopital's rule. So now I'm going to look at the limit as x approaches zero of the derivative of the numerator and then in the denominator, the derivative of the denominator. And I want to make sure that I kind of like let you think about and, and let you know that when I'm applying L'Hopital's rule, it's not that I'm taking the derivative of a quotient function, in which case I would have to use the quotient rule. And remember, a derivative of a function is where you put the x in, your output is the slope of the tangent to the original function at, at that x value. This is a limit process of a ratio that when you look at the ratio of the limit of the numerator divided by the limit of the denominator, I get that an indeterminate form. And this is a limit of a ratio of two functions. It's not the derivative of a quotient of two functions. So I think of this numerator and this denominator individually when I evaluate it. So what's the derivative of 3e to the 2x minus 3? Well, the derivative of a number times a function is the number times the derivative of the function. And here I'm going to have to use the chain rule. So this is 3 times 
The derivative of e to power is e to the power times the derivative of the power. And then minus the derivative of my constant term is zero. In the denominator, I have six times e to the x is the derivative of e to the x, and the derivative of a constant term is zero. So looking at the simplification of that, this is multiplication, multiplication is commutative, so that's six e to the two x, and divided by six e to the x. Now at this point, I look at, well, what happens as x approaches zero? Well, as x approaches zero, two times something going to zero goes to zero. So um, I have e to a power that's approaching zero, that approaches one. So I have six times one divided by, and e to the power that's approaching zero is again one, so six times one. So this gives me, looking at evaluating that limit, that's 6 over 6, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. Now when I write my answer for it, notice that from here to here, I dropped the limiting notation because I was evaluating what the limit was standing for. And then when I finally write out the final solution, if I don't want to just write that my value is 1 for that, and I just want to say that it's the limit as x approaches 0 of this original expression is equal to 1, I have to write that whole thing out to make sure that I am using the correct notation. You can't write it with just the limit as x approaches 0 of nothing is equal to 1, because limits have to have the components in notation, the LIM for the abbreviation of the limit, the variable that's the limiting variable and what it's approaching, and then also the argument that the limit is acting on to actually be a valid notation for a limit question. So I would write the limit as x approaches 0 of 3e to the 2x minus 3 over 6e to the x minus 6 is equal to 1. Let's look at the next one. So here I have the limit as x approaches infinity of 4x squared minus 1 over e to the x. So as x approaches infinity, um, it's a value approaching infinity squared is getting even bigger. So that approaches infinity. Times 4 is still even getting bigger. So approaching infinity and just subtracting 1 is not going to stop it from approaching infinity. So my numerator approaches infinity. In the denominator it says x approaches infinity of e to the x. And you've got to be very careful if there's a negative in the exponent or not, but there isn't. So as x approaches infinity, e to something going off extremely big gets extremely big. So my denominator is infinity as well. So here it's the indeterminate form of infinity over infinity. So L'Hopital's rule says if you have an indeterminate form of either 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, or any of the ways that the negatives could be put in the quotient of infinities, then the limit as x approaches the value of the original quotient of two functions will be the same as the limit as x approaches that value of the derivative of the numerator function divided by the derivative of the denominator function when that limit exists. So I have the limit as x approaches infinity of 8x and then the derivative of a constant term is 0 over e to the x. Derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Now, I want to see what's going on at this point. Well, as x goes off to infinity, 8 times something getting extremely big gets extremely big. And in the denominator, 
e to a power that's getting extremely big is getting extremely big. So I'm thinking of these separately, the numerator I'm thinking and then the denominator. So I still have infinity over infinity case. There will be situations where you apply L'Hopital's rule and you look at what's going on and you still have a indeterminate form. So you can do L'Hopital's process again. You can do it a couple times or three times or four times, whatever the situation warrants. So now I have the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of 8x is 8 and the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Let's look at what's happening now. As x approaches infinity, the numerator is 8. So I have an 8 in the numerator. And then in the denominator, x is approaching infinity. So it's e to a power that's getting extremely big in the denominator. And that's going off to infinity. So I don't have an indeterminate form now. I have 8 over something going to infinity. Since I don't have an indeterminate form, I can't use L'Hopital's rule and expect to get a result that's accurate. I have to use the, rule, the expression for the limit that it warrants. And so if 8 is my numerator and it's a fixed value, and I divide by a value that's getting extremely large, so like 8 divided by 10, 8 divided by 100, 8 divided by 1,000, 8 divided by a billion, that overall quotient value is getting extremely little. So this limit goes to zero, and by L'Hopital's rule, the limit of the ratio of the derivatives, if you had indeterminate form, is equal to the limit of the original functions. So I have the limit as x approaches infinity of 4x squared minus 1 over e to the x. Remember, you've got to write the shorthand for limit, what your limiting variable is approaching, and the argument that the limit is acting on to have the correct notation, and then write is equal to 0.